this i have been humbled by the experiences of life the most recent one uh -huh. was leaving my former work uh, some of you may have known where i used to work before and i used to be a big man big boy big size Today, zero. Yes. So I go somewhere. I have gone to see a big man like Mukisa. I must also first stop at the reception. <laughs> so I ask them, I say, uh, that, there's one famous question people used to ask when they are coming to see me. Now I'm the one who is asking it. Is the big man there? Then the girl tells you, mm, let me find out. Then she first goes on the phone. So you wait, you stand there. Okay. Then she rings. And then they tell her, yeah, he's in. Okay, he's there, but over her, he's in a meeting. Over, anyway, I tell him, you are who? <laughs> but you did not have to wait when you came here. <laughs> I tell him you're who? <laughs> I tell him you're who? Uh-huh. Uh, tell him it's Kao Shenga. Kao? Kao Shenga. Of where? Uh, street vendor. <laughs> and then, and then, with those kinds of experiences, you realize mm. you can no longer throw around your weight you must be polite to people because you realize not everybody knows you, even those who do don't care. And if you want to get along, you then say, no, I am sorry. I am. But you tell him if he's busy, I can come back later on. Say, no, you sit down. So you sit at the reception quietly. Then somebody comes, sees you, recognizes you. Then you see them smiling, they point at you, they look at each other, they laugh, they go, you know you are finished. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you the truth. Then the day, the day, the day you accept that reality of yours, mm. then you know you can start again. Because now, of course, now with the, the way I used to be, I used to have uh, a bit of cash. But now, uh, when uh, Madame is going to work. Sometimes I ask her, do you have 50k? <clears throat> because I don't have it. There are times when I will not have it. Mm. So the humility, you are forced to swallow saliva, and that saliva is very hard. Hey. Have you ever swallowed it, Mukisa? You feel it tastes like a mango. Then you ask her, you say, Madam, uh, 50k. What? She says, hey, things are that bad. She gives you a hundred thou. Hey, you have a good wife. Yes. Absolutely, yes. yes. And you must all have a good wife or a good partner because. <laughs> uh, Moses, let me tell the, the young men here, the men here. You may be the breadwinner today mm. and you may walk around your house feeling like a, a gladiator. As sure as night comes after day, there will come a time when you cannot win that bread and that woman is the one winning that bread. And you will look at her with an eye and she will look at you and say, you remember when I asked you, For Kameza, Mukisa, these women can store. <laughs> so those who don't want to give Kameza, please give Kameza and leave even balance permanently. I've been telling them, give 
If Kameza is 200,000, mm. please give 250 and don't ask for balance. Mm. <laughs> it may not be, Moses, it may be, it may not necessarily be that you, are, you have stopped earning or you don't have money. Mm. But you may find yourself when you have a medical condition, you may fall sick. Mm. I once had a surgery and I never thought that she would assist me to go to the loo. So those things, Moses, they humble you. Mm -hmm. And if you don't then humble yourself, life will continue caning you with lessons until and then the day you bring yourself down is the day you'll start climbing back. Wow.